by wireless, sir, from Tambosa. Thank you. Pamela Courtney and the two Americans are alive. Alive? It hardly seems possible, sir. I know, but Chatterton reports that Miss Courtney and one of the Americans are already out of the middle jungle. What about Miss Courtney's uncle? They brought Alan Courtney's body with them. He was murdered by Nazi agents. In. No, Dr. Falk. Mr. Chatterton is at the funeral. Alan Courtney's. Oh, yes. Yes, I was told the sad news. And now I'm afraid I bring more. We hear the jungle telegraph at the farm, you know? Yes, I know. One of the two Americans with Miss Courtney stayed in the jungle, didn't he? Mr. Bob Elliott. He remained with Jungle Jack, so far as he did for Mr. Courtney. Indeed. Then it must be those two men whom the Tongili are trying to kill. Blaming them for the abduction of Godak, the all-powerful judge of the Middle Jungle tribes. Something up with them Tongilis, or else they'd be right behind us. They're keeping out of range. Yeah, I doubt about it. But if I know them, there's something more to it than this. Something more to it than this is right. Look. Trouble getting away now. You save us again, Othell. Mr. Courtney said that before he died, you could tell us what we wanted to know. The Bawana Courtney was a true friend of the Tongili. So is Jungle Jack, and I hope I can prove to be one too. Tell me, Othell, what is the secret that gives Godak his great power in the middle jungle? Just some animal. She's gone. Those two strangers can't live through that fire. No. They both are dead. Godak, our judge, is gone. The ancient secret of the sword is lost with him. Don't be so sure, Cairo, about Godak. Reports should be coming back to Tongaraban now from the searching parties. He may be safe. I'm not going directly back to Tongara, so watch Kaiba. Don't let him escape. He's a traitor. We brought you here, Godak, to protect you. Othell is your enemy, and Kaiba obeys her. 
You're wanted, Barna Lang. Guard Godak with your lives. save Godak and take him back to Tangara. Godak has a secret of the sword. I must save him. Yes, but we must do it so he'll believe you. Then he'll choose you to succeed him, and then he'll tell you that secret. I'll learn the secret of the sword and kill Godak. <laughs> That's right, Marty. And ever the aid of Germany, you rule this middle jungle as no man has ever ruled it before. Tell me, and I will do it. You go back to Tangara and accuse Lothel and Kaiba of abducting Godak. Kaiba, with the help of Lothel, controls the secret of the sword by holding Godak captive. For only Godak knows the secret. Kaiba sent me to search for Godak. We found his trail, but it disappeared in the swamp. One of the captors wore shoes. So did the two strangers, Kaiba's friends, who died in the fire. I don't know any strangers. I told Godak to choose you instead of me. Why then should you accuse me of betraying him? Kaiba know where Godak is. But if you return him unharmed, Kaiba's life will be spared. But if you fail, Kaiba walks through the fire. Here we are, Bob. I wish you could go all the way with me. So do I. I've got to get back to camp and chip them lions and leopards. The river runs right past Tambosa. You should get there a little after dark. Okay. Why take chances, Lang? Well, they won't suspect Dr. Bork speaking to her own farm. After all, she's a famous agriculturist. Sweet, of course. <laughs> yes, Denka, what is it? Hello? Dr. Bork? This is Lang, speaking from the Valgan Cave. My foreman at Experimental Farm. Both Courtney's safari chief and the American are dead. And Lothal is playing right into our hands by hunting for Godak. Marty will rescue him tomorrow. Thank you, Denka. I'll attend to the matter at this end. And I'll tell Mr. Chatterton about the drums. More jungle telegraph, Dr. Bork? Your friends have been sacrificed to Tongili vengeance. Sacrificed? More Nazi murders, you mean? After what you told Rogers earlier, sir, we expected the worst, but... We can't trace the wire of the rifle or the spear, but this knife is different. It's new and it's an English make. Trace it where, Chuck? Nazis killed your uncle with this, Pam. The same Nazis that murdered Jungle Jack and Bob. We failed to get those Nazis out there in the jungle. But there's a chance this knife was bought right here in Tambosa. I say, if it was... If it was, we've got to find out who bought it and who took it into the jungle. I know this brand, sir. And all the merchants in town that might sell it. Their stores are closed now. 
But I'll toddle along to their homes if you think it best. Good man, Rogers. Yes, sir. Nazis. <laughs> you haven't a very high opinion of German espionage, have you, Mr. Keller? Not of their methods and morals, but they're smart. Well, I must go. Let me again express my sympathy for the tragic death of your uncle. I've lost a friend. So have the Tangili. Good night. Good night, Dr. Boyle. She lost a friend. She wasn't even at the funeral. I wish I'd have stayed with Bob. the Nazis are in the middle jungle. We also know they want to control the Tangili. Yes, by playing on the greed for power of some native who wants to take Godak's place. Seduction of Godak is a key to the whole situation. Quite. The Nazis will torture from him the secret of his power, tell it to their own candidate, whom the Tangili will then obey. And so rule the tribe through that traitor. That must be their plan. It won't work if we grab their agents. And we got a better chance of doing that right here than we have in the jungle. Hello there, chat from here. Yes. Oh, hello, Rogers. Yes. Good man. Rogers has traced the knife. Where was baby bought? From a character called Tambosa Tim. He keeps a grog shop. I know the place. It's on the waterfront. We ain't much on lemonade here. Well, that tastes rancid, like. Don't complain. Here, keep what's left over. Thanks, mister. Is your boss around? My boss? That's him there. The big fella talking. Always like that. Tell him I want to see him when he's got time. Got plenty of that, mate. Well, as I was saying, the tide fell 20 feet in them parts. And when it ebbed, we turned out all hands and patched the holes in the bottom of the schooner's hull. <laughs> and floated her off them rocks at full tide. <laughs> I dry and handsome. <laughs> Someday I'll launch you, Bilge. Now, what is it you want? A couple over there wants to talk to you. Huh? What about? Search me. <laughs> if I did, I'd probably find a lot of things I lost. I'm Tambosa Tim. What can I do you for? Know where I can get another knife like this? <laughs> Where'd you find this one? Picked it up in the jungle. Well, how did it happen you brought it here? A friend claims you can tell me where to get another, if anyone can. Smart friend you've got. <laughs> uh, you, you know Captain Drake? No. The captain of the Silver Star, the schooner, is tied up outside. He, uh... He got a gross of them kind of rippers and a deal once. Maybe he hasn't sold them all yet. Thanks. I'll go there now. Tell him I sent you. Maybe you get a better price. Okay, I will. Silver Star? No, because Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly will never leave there. I suppose their friends trace them here. Admit you send them to Captain Drake. He'll deny ever having seen them. You don't happen to be Captain Drake, do you? Huh? I say you don't happen to be Captain Drake. No, well, he's down below. Down that companionway there. Thanks.
Well, a delegation. Now, ain't that interesting? I'm Drake. Who are you? Tambo's a Tim told us you had some more knives like this. I'd like to buy them. Tambo's a Tim, huh? That does it. The old pirate. I don't trust his friends. Well, we had trusted by Mr. Chatterton, the royal commissioner. Are you, man? Well, ain't that nice? If you're looking for trouble, Drake, you'll have to find it. But uh, we're looking for some more knives like this one. Knives and trouble go together now, don't they? Close hold on. Got your hands. So, Jungle Jack is back in his camp, and I'm here. And Mr. Kelly and Miss Courtney will certainly be glad to see you. Oh, I'm sorry I missed them, but I took my time coming through town not knowing the way. Well, they should be here any minute now. I hope that knife clue you've been telling me about really gives us a lead to the Nazis. So do I. I've been to all the merchants in town, sir. Some of them know the make of that knife, but none sells it. But, Rogers, didn't you telephone me a short while ago to tell me that Tambosa Tim has knives like Mr. Kelly's? No, sir, I didn't tell him. Then Pam and Chuck have been framed. Remember them? Nice young couple? Mm, of course I remember them. I never forget nobody, never. I sent them over to Captain Drake. Where can I find him? On a schooner out in front. He's got the kind of knives they want. Friendly man, Captain Drake is. Thanks. <laughs> Who may you be, if you don't mind my asking? Not that it matters, but I'm Captain Drake. Just the man I came to see. I'm looking for friends. Miss Courtney and Mr. Kelly. They were sent here by Tambosa Tim. Never met them two. Never saw them. Never nobody around here like that. They came to see you about a hunting knife. A hunting knife, you say? And what would a sailor know about hunting knives? I think you can answer that question, Drake. That's the knife I mean, there on your belt. Where have you got my friend? I don't like being threatened, mister. I don't want any trouble, either. That'll do it. Get below. All right. 